Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here doing my second vlog. Just kind of walking around my neighborhood again to uh, just, I don't know, kind of get out of the house. It's kind of an overcast day, but it's got a nice cool breeze. Thought I'd uh, kind of discuss uh, current events in my life. Um, I just got off the phone um, earlier this uh, morning or afternoon. I don't even remember anymore. With uh, the uh, head guy of admissions, I guess he's the dean of admissions or something, and uh, he said that I'm not able to attend BGSU at the moment because of my low GPA. Now, uh, like I said before, I did write them an appeal letter. They received it. It went to the uh, head dean or whatever, and uh, he didn't approve. So, you know, I was kind of depressed, but the Dean of Admissions said that I am able to uh, go to BGSU, but first I have to complete some, uh, like, remedial courses over at uh, the local uh, lake campus. So that's, that's not too bad. I mean, I checked the pricing, and uh, it's like friggin' dirt cheap. I knew that the lake campus was really cheap, but I didn't know it was that cheap. I mean, goddamn. I could probably, you know, work a summer or two and be just fine. But, uh, yeah, I definitely won't be able to pay for it up front. Maybe I will, I don't know. But, uh, currently, I'm still saving up for a vehicle because in July my uh, truck broke down and I got super screwed out of that whole deal. I had it towed over to a local mechanic. He said that I uh, physically broke the crankshaft, which for uh, you guys who are mechanically inclined know that that's probably the most indestructible part of an entire car. And how that got broke, um, I'm not so sure. So he said to repair it would cost uh, $1,500 which I only bought the truck for like 900 so I said, you know, fuck that noise. And I decided to sell it to him to cover the cost of towing, labor, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he also gave me 75 bucks out of it. And uh, after I did that, I told my friends about it, and they said, you know, why didn't you scrap it? And I said, well, I thought about it, but I didn't think that, you know, I'd get too much more out of it. But they said that, considering it was such an old truck and it was full of, you know, so much metal that I would have gotten, you know, after all the expenses and everything, probably like four or five hundred bucks. I was like, shit. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. But, uh, I admit to being completely car-tarded. I don't know a single thing about cars and, uh, I don't really care to know about, it. you know, cars. It's not really an interest of mine. Huh. These are neighbors. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So I've been saving up since, like, July, August. And thus far, as of this check, I have over 500 bucks in the bank. Which is pretty good. But, uh, I'm trying to, uh, make some more money. And, you know, I've been trying to work, you know, extra hours, which definitely helps. But it's only, you know, to a certain extent. So I've been trying to uh, think of things I could sell on, like, eBay or something. And right now I'm just kind of, you know, playing it by ear. I'm, you know, just going to sell, like, one thing at a time just to kind of see what goes down. And currently, the only thing I have up on eBay right now is a uh, an old, like, uh, DSL cable router that my stepdad gave me and uh, it's really nice but you know currently right now I don't have any use for it right now so I mean it works I'll probably put the link up to the auction on the side so you guys could check it out and uh, yeah I'm planning on selling it for like a, I think I have it up there for like 35 40 bucks 12 bucks shipping 18 if you really want it fast and then uh, that's just in the US so around the world it's like 100 bucks you know I kind of looked up like 
other like cities, you know, like Tokyo, Germany, like Canada. I think it's like 84 bucks. Everywhere else is like 150 some odd bucks. So I mean, I think honestly, 100 bucks for shipping is like a friggin' steal. That's just my opinion. But anyway, getting back to this whole Bowling Green thing. Yeah, I, I am, you know, kind of pissed at the whole thing, but. I think looking back, you know, I think this is actually, you know, really good for me because it'll allow me to uh, get rid of all those, you know, extra crap courses I don't really need and uh, still give me more time to kind of save up my money so that way uh, I can, you know, get the car without worrying, you know, oh shit, I gotta go to BGSU soon. So, you know, I can kind of pace myself a little bit, but I'm still trying to save up as fast as I can because you know, winter's coming up and I don't want to be riding around my bike or my brother's moped, you know, when it's, you know, fucking freezing. Don't forget that. But, uh, also, you know, I won't have to spend a shit ton on, uh, you know, basic, you know, essential classes. So, I mean, that's good. I won't have to... I mean, that's basically the thing that really killed me at, you know, ITT Tech and Urbana was uh, the fact I had to take, you know, essential classes. And, I mean, I can kind of see the practicality in it, but in the same sense, I mean, if you're going to be, you know, offering, you know, I think that for uh, the essential classes, they should have, you know, a lower cost. So that way I'm not paying, like, friggin' 16000 a semester just to get, you know, basic English or basic math. I mean, fuck that noise. Now, if they charge, like, significantly less, you know, since I'm taking that particular class, you know, maybe take, like, a tuition break or give me a laptop or something, so that way, you know, it's not so financially painful, then it's like, oh, okay, you know, it's essential. But, you know, I get a free laptop or... A tuition break so that's no big deal but I mean they charge the same price for every class except for like science classes or whatever is that a dead frog check this out it's a dead frog. that's disgusting what the hell is it it's like a frog or something that's disgusting. Huh. That was weird. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm really loving this camera, to be honest. But uh, yeah, anyway, getting back to uh, uh, Bowling Green. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of got. I lost my uh, train of thought there with the whole dead frog. And uh, yeah, getting back to Bowling Green. I think, you know, it'll actually be good for me in the long run because I'll be able to complete some remedial classes at pretty much next to nothing and uh, get all that out of the way, boost my GPA so I'll be able to uh, attend BGSU, you know, on a better note than like just scraping by, you know, like just barely a 2.5. And, you know, it'll also get me like mentally ready because I think, honestly, if I were to just, you know, hop into BGSU right now, I'd... I'd probably do okay, but it all depends on the classes, and uh, I just need to get my mind, you know, my, not just, you know, mentally, but also, like, I just need to, you know, prepare myself for college. As far as supplies and all that stuff goes, I've pretty much got myself covered. I can pretty much use, you know, all my old supplies from Urbana, hook pens, paper, Things like that. I might have to buy some folders, but, you know, that's, like, no big deal. No big deal at all. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, also, you know, fuck allergies. Fuck them hardcore. They're totally messing with, you know, me getting my story done and all that. So, I am getting better, if you guys are wondering. And, uh, this is approaching the 10-minute mark again. So, this is the Andy Son signing off. You guys all have a good day.